A new report has come in for the 2022 iPad Pro that it will be getting the M2 chipset and MagSafe charging. Today I want to tell you more details about this and how this could change how we use the iPad Pro going forwards. I also want to do a summary of what to expect in the new iPad Pro M2 with features design and of course the expected iPad Pro 2022 release date and price. But let's first do a quick recap on where we are. We now have the new iPad Air with an M1 chipset inside it, what is the same as what we have inside the iPad Pro models. We've had the M1 chipset inside the iPad Pro range for over a year now, and it's the most powerful tablet out there on the market, and it's a great alternative to, say, a MacBook Pro 13-inch or a MacBook Air, giving you the ability to use this tablet as either a laptop alternative with a Magic Keyboard or to use it as a fantastic creator's device with the Magic Pen. So. But let's talk about this new report of MagSafe coming to the iPad Pro. So Mark Gurman has claimed just recently that the new iPad Pro will be getting MagSafe capability on the 2022 model and also mentioned again that we'll be getting an M2 chipset inside. The MagSafe report is very interesting as it's not clear in what type of MagSafe will be made available for the iPad Pro. What I mean by this, would it be the MagSafe similar to what we have on the iPhone at the moment with a magnetic pad that goes on the back. If it's this type of MagSafe, then will we finally get an upgrade of the wireless charging from the wattage from 15 watts all the way up to say 30 watts, what the current 11 inch model can take, or even a higher than this, up to 40 watts, what the 12.9 inch iPad Pro can take. In my opinion, I think it's more likely it will be the other style of MagSafe. So this is the kind of MagSafe charger style that we have on the new MacBook Pros and also that new M2 MacBook Air, or it's the traditional style. And to be honest, it'll probably be far easier to apply this to the current iPad design and also provide more wattage via this method if needed. But the main thing to take away is MagSafe in either shape or form is coming to the next generation of the iPad Pro. On top of this, I just want to say, with leaks being early, and to be fair, any leaks even up to the iPad's release date that I find and show to you guys, a lot lot of previous leaks for other Apple products have come true, but there are some that sometimes get misinterpreted based on the facts that the leakers have been told. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. No leak or rumour is 100% true until we see the final iPad Pro being shown officially from Apple. However, if you are like me and you're also watching this video, then you are curious as I am in knowing what the next generation iPad Pro is going to be like and want to know what the latest leaks and rumours are, no matter what they tell us. So release date is next. In 2021, we saw the debut of the 2021 iPad Pro at the Spring Loaded event that was April 20th. However, we couldn't get our hands physically on the iPad Pro until a month later on May 21st. Now in previous years, like last year, we had Craig show us in 2020 the new iPad Pro on March 18th, what was a Tuesday, but the release date was actually on Friday, March 27th. The iPad before that was in 2018 and was released on November 7th. However, in 2019, we got the iPad mini 5th gen and the iPad Air 3 released on March 18th. Now remember, it is very early days, but based on recent year's release dates and also having the M2 chipsets introduced at WWDC 2022 with two devices having the M2 inside, we believe the 2022 iPad Pro M2 at this stage will likely be announced around October or November time when more devices will get the M2 chipset like the iMac 24 inch model, the Mac mini, and of course the iPad Pro with an M2 chipset inside. However, we have heard news of a 14 inch iPad Pro Max that looks like it could be coming in 2023. So it is possible that the iPad Pro could be delayed to 2023, but most leaks are pointing towards the fall of 2022. But if you do want more info about that new iPad Pro Max, I'll be making a new video about this very soon. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow by that notification bell. So then guys, just recently, this channel just got over 400,000 subscribers. 
listeners. And I did a giveaway for a MacBook Air M1. And if you want to see who the winner was for that MacBook Air 1, check out my other video on my channel where I announce who the winner is. But the great thing is, guys, I am doing another giveaway on this channel. And it is for this. This is for a 14-inch MacBook Pro. And this is with an M1 Pro chipset inside it, the 8-core one with a 14-core GPU and a 512-gigabyte hard drive inside. And I'm going to be giving this away now to one lucky subscriber when we get over 450,000 subscribers. And to enter into this international giveaway, all I need you guys to do is put down in the comments below of what Apple gear you're planning to buy or other technology gear in 2022. Put it down in the comments below. And also guys, if you are brand new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because when we get over 450,000 subscribers, I'll be announcing who the winner is of this MacBook Pro and you won't want to miss out on that video. Now, something else just want to quickly say, sadly still on YouTube, there are lots of scammers and spammers out there, some of them even impersonating myself, telling you to WhatsApp them or to Telegram you or other means as well. Ignore them or please do report them. It would really, really help because we don't want scammers and spammers getting their way here on YouTube. Well, guys, with that out of the way, let's return back to the video. So let's move on and do a summary of what the 2022 iPad Pro models are most likely going to provide us at this stage. So starting out with the 2022 iPad Pro 11 inch model, we're expecting it to have the same shape body again as like we've had in the last couple of years. We do not believe that Apple are going to refresh this design just yet. However, what is going to be put inside the iPad Pro M2 11 inch is with its display, we're going to get some changes. We're now actually going to be getting a mini LED XDR liquid retina display, what is a first for the 11 inch iPad Pro M2. The resolution will be exactly the same as the 11 inch models that we have at the moment, will be 2388 by 1668. And we will also get that ProMotion 120 hertz display on the 11 inch iPad Pro. This is the first time the iPad Pro has had a big upgrade in its screen technology and we're really excited to hear that this is possibly going to be coming in the latest leaks that we've been hearing. For storage, it will be starting out at 128 gigabytes. This is the same as the 2021 iPad Pro, but the other options available will be 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, one terabyte and two terabyte storage options all over again. We will also be getting that brand new M2 chipset inside the iPad Pro 2022 model and that will give us an 8 core CPU at the stage and also the potential of a 10 core GPU what is going to be a big upgrade on the M1. There will also be 5G connectivity and we've also heard that there's going to be ultra wideband technology put inside this iPad Pro as well. Then also at the same time there will be a choice of 8 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes of RAM depending on which storage option you pick. You won't have the free range to pick like what we have right now this year depending on which storage you pick it gives you a higher amount of ram or a lesser amount of ram the body again will be made out of aluminium because it's basically the same design as last year's or this year's model and then also at the same time there will be a double camera and lidar sensor very similar to the 2021 ipad pro for battery size it will stay the same again with a 7538 milliamp battery for prices, the 128 gigabytes of the smallest range will start at 799 US dollars, and this will go all the way up to the 256 gigabytes at 899, 512 at 1099, 1 terabyte at 1499, and 2 terabytes at 1899 US dollars. Next of all, we have the 2022 iPad Pro 12.9 inch model. Again, not much is going to be changing here. We are believing at this stage that we're going to be getting the same design all over again. So even the current screen that we have right now, the XDR displays, so the mini LED, 
XDR display is going to be staying in this iPad Pro, at least for this generation. We may be getting an OLED display in the next generation, but for now it's staying with the current screen type. The screen resolution is going to stay the same as the 2020 and 2021 and 18 resolutions. So that'll be 2732 by 2048. Again, it will be a Pro Motion display with a 120 hertz refresh rate. Storage again is going to be staying the same, starting at 128 gigabytes, going all the way up to two terabytes of storage. We'll be getting that new M2 chipset, what I already previously mentioned, that will be giving us eight core CPU and an up to 10 core GPU according to the latest leaks, but this could change, remember that guys. We're also gonna be getting 5G connectivity inside it and also ultra wide band as well inside the iPad Pro M2. There'll be a choice between eight gigabytes or 16 gigabytes of RAM, depending again on which storage options you pick. So if you go for more of the top end sort of storage, like one or two terabytes, you'll be getting 16 gigabytes of RAM. But if you go for the lower specs at 128 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes of storage, you'll only get eight gigabytes of RAM. As the design is going to be staying the same, it's gonna be the same aluminum frame body. And then on the back, there will be a double camera setup and LiDAR sensor. There isn't too many leaks or information on how that camera setup is going to look right now. But the second any leaks come in, I'll let you know. For battery size, it'll be exactly the same again. It will be a 9,720 milliamp, and this is the same size what's in the 2021 iPad Pro. Prices start again with 128 gigabytes at 1,099 US dollars, 256 gigabytes at 1,199, 512 gigabytes at 1,399, 1 terabyte at 1,799, and 2 terabytes at 2,199 US dollars. So that's an early picture summary of the 2022 iPad Pro. But my wishes for the iPad Pro this time round is not more to do with the actual physical iPad Pro, but actually to do with the iPad OS. I am hoping in 2022 that the operating system for the iPad OS won't fully mirror the likes of iOS, but be designed with more of a look and feel of Mac OS inside it. If this would ever come true, I do not know, but it is something from my point of view that I would love to see. As at the moment, the iPad Pro with iPad OS 14 and 15 even, it feels like I've just got a giant iPhone and it doesn't feel that special in operating system wise. But let me know your thoughts if you agree or disagree with this. And also write in the comments below what your wishes would be for the iPad Pro in 2022. Well guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure to like the video. And at the same time, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please make sure to hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I'll see you soon.